you know, I hate solar eclipses or be, only because people attach meaning to them and, you know, they, they get spiritual about them and all that other bullshit. But uh, I've lived now, you know, many, many decades. And uh, I don't think once I went out and looked at a solar eclipse. I've lived through many of them and it's just a complete waste of time. It's boring. Yeah, and you know what it's like? Yeah, they've been happening since I was a kid. It's and so, I don't think I've ever seen one. It's so stupid. I think when I was a kid, you know, you're not allowed to look up at the solar eclipse. Right. You could go blind, et cetera. You've learned, heard all and that. And I was like, okay. to make those boxes. They never yeah, worked. But, <laughs> but once the teacher told me, don't look up or you can go blind, that was it. I lost interest. And you know, <laughs> want to know something? It, it gets dark and then it's not dark. That's right. it. I remember the last one, John Hine went out on the streets of New York and knocked into people, like like knocked them over so that he could get a better view of the solar eclipse. People are losing their minds. Flights are being delayed. Schools are closing early. And places like Niagara Falls have already declared a state of emergency ahead of the eclipse as they expect one million people to flood the area to watch it. Right. And the media is covering like that. They don't even cover the war in Ukraine like this, which is something important. But uh, here they are carrying on about the US solar Customs eclipse. Border Protection and Border Patrol has issued a travel alert as people attempt to view the solar eclipse. Canada's Niagara region is declaring a state of emergency as it prepares to welcome up to a million visitors for next week's solar eclipse. As a precaution, the regional municipality of Niagara is invoking a state of emergency so it can prepare state for of emergency. traffic, heavier demands on emergency services, and cell phone network overloads. The agency says travelers should expect some delays at airports in the path of the eclipse. Aye. Airplanes may be required to circle before landing or take off oh, later oh, than geez. planned. Well, the countdown is on. One week from countdown. today, schools across our region will close down for the total oh, yes. solar eclipse. With more than tens of thousands no. of people projected to visit Vermont and no. lines of traffic, our region, northern New York and Vermont, well, it has never seen this kind of mass attraction before. It's the moon passing in front of the sun. Gary, fire anyone who, from our staff who, who looks at this. This is such a phenomenon that in the jails, they're doing a lockdown and yeah. a bunch of prisoners are suing the prison, <laughs> saying it violates their religious rights, that this is some sort of religious happening and oh. they need to see it. Speaking of religious happenings, the, the religious guys are all using this to raise money. Oh, really? I, I got to admit, I'm a little jealous of this whole thing. <laughs> I think I could make a lot of money, if, you know, if I abused my audience with a crying pitch. Please buy the fart man outfit. Oh, come Please on. Please subscribe to Sirius. Yeah. <laughs> you know you want it in your car's commercial free. Except for us. <laughs> Please call now with your $70 gift or more. And or prepare. More. To see the sign in the sky. Monday solar eclipse is far more than a random event. It's a God scheduled event where God <laughs> speaks to the nations. Sure. Another prophetic sign like this won't occur for another 21 years. Was that prophetic or pathetic? All the signs in the sky will be explained. Your soul is on the line, please. $70 or more will get you into the heavenly kingdom. And don't forget, when the solar eclipse comes, nighttime turns to the daytime or something this like that. This is a message from God. Please, please send me money so we can turn the sun back on. <laughs> God accepts love in all forms. Venmo, PayPal, Bitcoin. You got it, we take it. And Zell. God doesn't. That's a new thing. <laughs> Zell. <laughs> and when the rapture comes, make sure to show God your receipt, or else you won't be going to heaven. God doesn't make change, and God doesn't make refunds. I need, I mean, God needs your money right now. <laughs> wow, what a pitch.